is the book of Galatians, chapter 6, verse 7. Be not deceived. The Most High Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Galatians, chapter 6, and verse 7. I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rachah which is to say in the Hebrew, all praises, call hello, Yahweh, which is the name of the Heavenly Father, all right, the name of our ancient, all right, Hebrew name, all right, that we had for the, for the Heavenly Father, all right, his name is Yahweh, okay, the name that he gave to Moses, all right, to go and deliver the children of Israel out of bondage, out of Egypt. And when he went there, there was that name that they called upon in front of the in front of Pharaoh, all right, and all those miracles took place. The downfall of Egypt took place, and we were rescued and delivered, all right, from the from our enemies. And that is the same name that during this second exodus we're calling upon, all right, as we end this uh, uh, this this movie, okay calling upon that same name that has delivered his children time and time again but this time only the elect will be calling upon that name that is why people reject that name and they fail to 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 acknowledge that as the only true name of the heavenly father that is because they're not of the elect and that name is not given on to them okay so we are blessed to have that name yahweh through his only begotten son yahweh shai who the world angrily calls Jesus Christ, all right, ignorantly misidentifies, all right, as Jesus Christ, okay? Now, I want to go into this real quick, uh, and I start off with Galatians chapter 6 and verse 7, all right? This is uh, all through the Spirit, you know, stemming from current events, you know, um, a couple of days ago, I saw a video that the elder Manat Zagba, all right, from South Carolina had done, all right, going into this pastor talking about Growing uh, uh growing uh weeds, I right, grow weed, okay, marijuana, okay, uh, in order to basically entice more Negroes, because that's what they are, okay, entice them to come back to their churches. You see, and that should tell you, all right, everything you need to know about America, Babylon the Great. All right. This is why this place is Babylon the Great. It's not. It's not the Vatican. All right. America is Babylon. All right. Babylon the Great. Okay. The daughter of of, of of Babylon, man. Why? Because this is the land of confusion. Okay. And the scriptures tell you, all right, what the judgments are for a land that is filled with the kind of confusion that we we, we witness every day here in America, Babylon the Great. Okay. You don't, we don't even need to start highlighting them. We, it's, it's become the societal norm to live in confusion in America. So if we were to go on and, and, and speak about the things that, that is, is, is meant to confuse, we'll be on here for days, man. All right, the, 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 the iniquities, all right, that's happening, all right, here in America, Babylon the Great is on an all-time high, man. All right, like the scriptures tell you, the Lord said that, what, he's going he's gonna to let their, their evil, all right, uh, uh, deeds or evil purpose to be fulfilled. Okay, their wicked, their wickedness has been fulfilled, man. All right, meaning it's, it's reached to the top. All right, it's reached to the top, man. Okay, and now to the point where the Lord's the Lord's word is being uh, 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 blasphemed, man. All right, by these two thirds who are about to get destroyed by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, in a very brutal manner. All right, you got. Negroes, so-called Negroes, all right, these 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 two thirds, these walking dead, all right, and they coming up with all kinds of madness, madness, man, telling them that they're gonna grow uh, marijuana or they're gonna start bringing it to church or whatever, just so they can attract church members. You know this type of shit, all right, ought to be rebuked harshly, man. 
okay and we are the the, the hey like the elders uh the elder apostles you know uh say that we are the avant-garde man okay that's standard man all right the standard that stands for righteousness okay only in yahweh bashim yahushai's name man the whole entire earth the whole entire earth man we are the ones who come up with the truth 100 percent truth man all right and that is why these devils fear us because it's it's a, it's a matter of uh information all right they they have deceived the world all right through their their, their, their uh information all right indoctrination all right the so-called education systems all right they've, they've they've polluted the whole entire world into thinking in this perverse manner that we that you're witnessing man and so when we come out here and we and we tell you that these these uh lifestyles that people have chosen to live is contrary to what the bible is actually saying they don't understand that to them it's it's foreign it's it's uh, what, are you, what are you talking about because here it is you're taking a book that was written thousands of years ago prior be even before america's conception okay this book was written all right the last book the book of revelation was written before america became a thing okay the united states of america and so on and so forth and the book of revelation talks about what's going to befall the united states of america when you read the book of revelation the 17th and 18th chapters it tells you that specifically the 18th chapter okay when you read uh uh, uh was it uh nahum all right nahum the third chapter i believe okay it goes into all that man so america is is is, is has been written down all right prophetically to do exactly what she's doing okay mystery uh the mystery of iniquity mystery uh babylon uh, daughter of babylon babylon the great okay this this is her america okay the land where they they they, they legalize all right sodomy okay and they do it by law all right it's 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 by law they can they, they're legal that's it's by law man okay they frame it mischief by law that's them when you highlight all the wickedness that happens it goes back to them the same people that will grab this guy uh what's his name i forgot i forgot this guy's name jonathan something or i, I might be i might be butchering his name but who cares all right he goes on the uh, so-called breakfast club and just completely just i'm like what a failed attempt and and lord willing i'm going to do a video on that all right and break it down because i watched the whole video I, I watched the whole entire hour of this guy putting out that 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 so-called uh, uh uh adl whatever you know putting his, his his foot in his mouth left and right you say one thing that he just contradicted the very next sentence i'm like see that's that's what you get from when you when, when there's a lying tongue around you know he's constantly just just saying things that's not even true what do you expect you know and the questions that they were they were asking was easy 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 questions man super easy and this thing was lying about it so that's how you know they're not going to confront the men of the lord <laughs> because if you're in a breakfast club and they're asking you these basic ass questions and you're lying about it what are you going to do when you come up against the men of the lord that's why they sent guys like vocab and all these guys to try to build this false narrative of us that we are some type of like uh, a hate group no we're a truth group okay and that's what that's what the, the, the angle has become you have to hate hate let's all hate hate there should be no hate speech no hate crime no hate this no hate that why because that very word hate is associated with the edomites in the bible directly the word most high the name the most high the word edom and the word hate <laughs> all right it's all pretty much in the same sentence all right in the book of malachi it tells you that okay let's 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 get that let's get that let's get that all right because the most high is not mocked <laughs> you know what i'm saying that's just what it is okay let's get this it's the book of malachi chapter one and verse four it says whereas edom saith we are impoverished no slack here slack here let's start off at uh, verse two that's the point malachi chapter one and verse two it says 
I have loved you, saith the Lord Yahweh. Right? The name Yahweh in the first sentence, right? I have loved you, saith the Lord Yahweh. Yet ye say, Wherein hast thou loved us? Who say this? Israel. Okay? That is why they're going into all these little different idols and so on and so forth. That's you saying, uh, you're not, you, you're basically telling the Lord now, you, you don't love us. Because that's why we show you that we don't love you. You know? We find, we find everything wrong, all right, with the Most High's uh, 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 works, man. That's Jake for you. Jake always got a problem with righteousness. They always got a problem with doing the things that are said for them to do, specifically them. Jake always want to engage in other shit because they don't love the Lord. The Lord is telling you through his men that you're the Israelites, the, the most special people on the planet Earth. Niggas still want to call themselves black. I, it's just unbelievable. You fighting against the so-called J people, okay? The the J ish people, all right? About about one thing, they stole our identity. They have all the power in this world. They stole our identity. Why did they steal nobody else's identity? Why us? And now we're coming back to tell you, hey, we're letting you know who we are. So now we got to find out who the hell you are, and that's the problem. They call it hate, but no, it's not hate. So. They're willing to, to put put up this whole facade and go to war against anyone who rises up any questions about their true identity. And you mean to tell me that it's not important to you to find out exactly who you are and why these devils are trying so hard to keep you away from knowing who you are? What 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 what, what is wrong with you people, man? <laughs> you see, and that's why the Lord is going to destroy cook straight cookery, man. You know what I'm saying? These niggas, they're not, they're just not gonna get it. They're not serious minded. Alright, two thirds of our people are not serious minded. They're they're clowns. Every day is a joke to them. Alright? They know they don't take anything serious. Alright? Just look at social media and see what happens. See what see what Jake is up to right now. There's a mass awakening going on. The whole entire world. You got other countries that are already protesting. I mean, they they had it. Why? Because the East people are already uh they they they're much more uh, aware compared to over here. The West, everyone is docile. Well, most people are docile. You know? But even in that, you still have the elect. Okay, so the Lord is saying what? Uh, 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 that what? He has loved us. He gave us the law, statutes, and commandments. He made us the most special people on the earth. All right? And we keep on disobeying Him. That's why we're in the predicaments that we're in right now. It's all on us. You see? So we can learn from these, these things that we're going through. All right? So we could what we could be perfected in the kingdom all right the lord is, is perfecting his craft that's why it, this is all part of the purification of, of of that goal all right he's making us perfect that's why we've gone through captivity after captivity you know slavery after slavery all right protest after protest <laughs> you know all these things that our people have tried to do uprising and this and that and this and that and there's one day this person got shot by the cops the next day this person got stabbed by this the next day this person got wrongfully convicted the next day this person is getting arrested because of this our people are always getting persecuted this person just got fired because he spoke the truth this person didn't get fired he actually got rewarded for telling lies oh what's going on i mean everything is upside down but yet our people revel in that so they say, yet ye say that wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother? Right? That's the Lord asking. Was not Esau Jacob's brother? Were they not brothers? <laughs> Were they not from the same mother, the same father? Was he not your brother, biological brother? Were y'all not twins? But just not identical twins? <laughs> All right? There's a reason why so-called the name the jays and blacks always go together but there's always this weird friction this weird tension there. there's always this weird vibe we're never like you like it's always this weird blacks and jays so-called blacks and so-called jays that's the right terminology that's that's better right the edomites and the judites they kind of dwell together around each other for for, for for the most part you look at brooklyn for example you know they they around each other Right? They're around each other, but there's this weird vibe of like, we can tolerate each other, but there's this tension there. It's just naturally there. You see what I'm saying? 
So that's that's a that's a that's a perpetual hatred right there. That's a perpetual thing. <laughs> you know. So the ADL is not going to save, all right? This 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 divide that we have between them and us. This is this, this is biblical, and they know that. So what the hell is the problem here? We, this is biblical. I mean, what is going on? Right? The Lord said, "What?" It says, "Saith the Lord, yet I loved Jacob, and I hated Esau." See? So they they saying, "Oh oh oh well, hate hate the word hate is is too much." You know, that's a you know, that's a that's a strong word. You know, hate is a very strong word. You know, um, what about the word murder? Um, you know, I mean, you could say, oh, murder. Is that a strong word? I mean, because you're literally taking a life. I mean, what? What you trying to say here? All this little semantics these 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 devils like to play, right? Somebody could say, oh, I, I love you, right? And, and and trick you, and murder you. Okay, your your life is gone. Okay, you know those people. Those people is called they know they know as the, uh, the the government and the CDC. Yeah, they trick you. Tell you that they love you. It's gonna be safe and effective. Next thing you know, people just dropping dead. I'm talking about uh, uh, died suddenly, uh, sudden uh, adult death syndrome or some shit like that. Sads, some weirdo shit. And then they flip it around. All right, and then they call those who bring out the truth hate. So it's all like it's just semantics, man. Somebody's telling you the truth. It's not gonna kill you. All right. But they will they call that hate. But then they're not gonna they're not gonna uh, 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 you know put the same energy on the word murder because that actually takes somebody's life. Not the word hate. Hate don't mean shit. Okay. You can hate someone. That's it's a, it's an emotion that people feel. Okay. And the Most High hates. So who the hell are you to ban the word hate or try to demonize it to make it seem like it's a bad thing? Nah. Because you motherfuckers hate too. You hate us. You hate the Most High. Listen to what your, your, your leaders are saying at the World Economic Forum. Listen to what they say. Okay? They want to be like the Most High. That's hate, man. That's self-hate, actually. You you hate yourself so much that you want to be the Most High. Like, damn. <laughs> you know? That's like extreme self-hate, man. So you devils are done and you're going down. Here, that's it. End of story. All right? The truth is coming out, you're being exposed, and it's making you very uncomfortable. But that's okay, guess what? We're gonna keep applying the pressure. Until we get what we want, which is our kingdom, all right? We're gonna keep applying that pressure. So bring that shit on, let's go. All right? And the more you come, the more you're gonna be exposed. Because you, you said it. The guy said on the breakfast breakfast club, he said it. He said, you know, at this point, you know, you're damned if you do, damned if you don't. Yeah, because the, the Lord has boxed your ass in with his truth. That's why. There's nothing to, there's nothing to do but to concede or, or to bring that ass. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Isaiah 59 and 19, let's go. Because now you're boxed in. Your whole plan is exposed. Your whole shit is exposed. You're done. Isaiah 47 tells you that. The Lord has uncovered everything, man. Second Thessalonians tells you that. The son of perdition is being what? Exposed. Okay? So you, you devils are getting mad. You're getting upset. Calling it uh, misinformation. Calling it hate speech. Calling it conspiracy theories. No, those are facts. Those are truths that you can't handle. Huh. It's going to keep burning your ass down. Okay? Because the Most High says so. He said he hates you. Okay? And that's it. <laughs> that's it. That's eternal. All right? That's eternal. He said, and I hated Esau. All right? And laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Ooh. Okay, so it's it's over with for you devils, man. There's nothing you could do. You're not gonna get a new world order, all right. All these little false narratives that you're gonna try to push to convince the world to come against this truth, it's not gonna work. All right, this game is over with. All right, and you have no, you don't have much time, so you have to make your move now. Okay, you're gonna have to make your move, and you have to make it quick. And guess what? We're gonna be waiting. The Al Bashmi Al is gonna be waiting. The Armada is ready. They're ready to roll. All right, Daniel 12 and 1 tells you that. Okay? Hey, so, man, we, we in some beautiful times, man. But understand that all these things that you people are doing, all right, just like at the time of Noah, all these, this 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 filthy shit that everyone is just, 
this this spirit of rebellion that everyone is in all right just understand that there's there's heavy judgment that's coming all you people that just keep playing games everything is a joke all right you're about to start seeing what it is to be in a real life situation where your god does not answer you all right when you when your god and your jesus christ when they know where to be found because the shit that's about to come down they're gonna run to go find a place to hide and it's gonna be a situation like elijah with uh the false prophets of uh, jezebel all right the false prophets of baal when they came up there talking this shit all right and he mocked them he said go 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 wake up your your, your god maybe maybe he's sleeping you know he took a nap you know you've been working you you overworked this nigga man you always coming to him doing all the stupid ass sacrifices and shit you know thinking that he could eat like you overwhelmed this nigga he's tired he's sleeping go wake him up though you gotta perform another fucking miracle for your hopes all right or or no no you know what yo shit look 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 perhaps you know the man is you know he, he's not he's not in a good place mentally you know what i'm saying go find a way bring him over here so he can perform your stuff for you all right that's how it's going to be for a lot of you you're going to be calling upon all your gods you're going to be your phone is not going to be working <laughs> all right so there'll be no more calls at that point and then you're going to get what's coming for you all right he's going to be looking for all you niggas man every one of you hmm. so i'm gonna leave it off there low will leave it at a five I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakodash, Duwadiyah Bashim Yahweh Shai. And until next time, Shalom.